everybody, Dr Biology here and this is GCSE Biology Higher Tier, Paper 2, Predictions 2025. So just to remind you, the Paper 2 will be on Monday 9th of June in the morning and it's for 1 hour 45 minutes. Um, I will tell you this and you need to know, and if you've seen my Paper 1 video, you'll know I say to revise everything, okay? It's really important. Also, it's important not just to do knowledge. It's important to practice your skills on past papers. And you can find those on my website and you can find them on many websites. Learn the keywords. Keywords are extremely important in terms of being able to explain, describe and explain things. Four, know the command words. What I mean by that is the actual questions and the command words like describe, explain, suggest. And number five, never ever give up. So it's really important you attempt every single question. Even if you think it's wrong, you need to um, answer every single question because the grade boundaries are not very wide and one mark here or there can get you a higher grade. These are coming up predictions only, so do not just revise the topics I'm going to tell you about. These are basically the ones that I think are more probably going to come up because they haven't come up for a year or two or more than two years. Um, and I'm going to give you some tips as well related to your revision. OK, so first of all, um, homeostasis is the first unit in paper two. And last year, very little came up on nerve pathways. So I would learn the nerve pathway, particularly reflex actions. Be prepared to um, be able to label a diagram and talk about reflex actions. The brain and particularly the eye. So the eye did not really come up last year. So again, learn the structure and function and learn about how the eye responds when it uh, you're short or long sighted. Control of body temperature, that would be a good six marker to have a go at. So thermoregulatory centre in the brain, you've got receptors and then what your uh, body does, so your blood vessels, if you're warm, they may dilate, widens the vein, you get more sweating and therefore evapotrans evaporation from your skin, okay, due to the heat. Um, so it'd be worth learning those things. Control of blood glucose. So there was a big question on that related to insulin and glucagon, but nothing about type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Hormones in human reproduction. Again, this would be a good six marker or a bigger kind of data-led or graph-led exam question. So things like estrogen, progesterone, FSH, LH, and generally the menstrual cycle. And then plant hormones. There was a lot on plant hormones last year, but auxins can always come up. Getting on to uh, meiosis, so um, in, in inheritance variation evolution, so how it halves the number of chromosomes, be prepared to describe the steps of meiosis. DNA in the genome, so again, keywords, know what a DNA, is, what DNA genes chromosomes are and also if you're doing higher tier which you are you'll need to know very briefly about protein synthesis sex determination so know how to do sex determination using punnett squares selective breeding now there is a really uh, in one of my videos i go through the main four things that you need to mention Okay, so what they will do is they'll give you an animal or plant, they'll give you some information and ask you about selective breeding. Classification as well, that's a great question. So about uh, the classification hierarchical system of Linnaeus and then the three domain um, classification of Wolfs um, and then the evolutionary trees. So being able to look at evolutionary trees and answer some questions. Cloning, definitely. So tissue culture, cuttings, and then embryo transplants in animals such as, as cows. Coming on to ecology, so decomposition, the rates of decay. So um, they like to talk about compost. So remember, you know, you need oxygen, water, and it needs to be warm as well for decay. Um, and obviously bacteria and detritivores are important. 
biodiversity, waste management, global warming. It's quite a big topic, this. Uh, but any type of pollution they could ask you questions about, they could talk about the effects of global warming. And then trophic levels in ecosystems. So that's pyramids of biomass. Um, there was a question on that last year, but looking at transfers of biomass, can you do a calculation to show percentage change? And then food production. So big topic last few years. Um, they do... Um, they haven't really talked about sustainable fisheries much, biotechnology, so GM, genetic modifications, um, farming methods as well, and food security. Don't forget the required practicals, okay? Required practicals come up every single year, even if they were in uh, the paper last year. So just to remind you, and just to remind you that all these can be found in my YouTube channel, so in docsbiology.uk website, you can actually look at all the required practicals. So the reaction time, uh, germination, so looking at the effect of light or gravity, uh, estimating populations using a quadrat, so that's both random sampling and transects, and then decay, so that's the effect of temperature on the rate of decay of milk by measuring pH change. A couple of videos I would also check uh, is that in paper two, they can ask you some things that come up in paper one. So uh, definitely watch this video. It will tell you a bit more about those uh, topics that could and they do come up every year. Um, also, my top tips, 10 top tips uh, for your exam. So exam technique. And obviously, if you haven't checked out Paper 1 predictions, please do check that out too. OK, guys, I really hope you found that useful um, and your exams go really, really well. Um, remember, it's important to prepare. It's important to plan ahead. Do a little and often and you should be OK. I wish you all the best and good luck. And if you're doing A-level biology, please do stick with me. See you soon.